one lucky contestant will win $10,000 and three premier FGC trips across America. We want to find that one individual that has the potential to become the next top player. Over the course of six episodes, they'll be competing in Street Fighter 6 base challenges made by me. And they're not only just playing fighting games, first to fives, first to tens, you know, it's going to be funny challenges. There's going to be mind games as well. Call it collusion where people get to, you know, just, you know, scheme with each other. There's going to be voting process on who goes to eliminations. You know, it's going to be pretty brutal. And I'm really excited to, to see how it's going to turn out and also how it's going to affect the contestants as well. But first, we have to find our eight challengers. I've sent out an announcement video where I asked all of you guys from North America to send in your audition tapes to be on Next Up. And you all certainly delivered. There were over 200 audition tapes. So we're gonna go through all of them right now. So let's find out who's next up. Here comes a new challenger. So all you Street Fighter 6 players. Watching my video. Oh my God. Justin Wong is hosting a Street Fighter reality show. Oh, we got the, bells, we got the acting. The Echo with the what? warning what? that Crocs? all things are impermanent. The blossoms of the solid tree. What is happening? I have what it takes to be next up in the fighting game community. This is so cute. It's nice. I like it. I'm not gonna lie. He, he's putting some effort into this, huh? I'm not sure what the future holds for me, but I would love to be a high end level competitor as well as maybe even a commentator. I just want my overall effect on the community. To I like be how he's wearing the suit. He dressed up like it's a job interview. To jam some games, no matter your walk of life. That one is pretty sick. Yo, my name is Benjamin Vasquez. My gamer tag is Blendo Oh, he ben. came in hot. You can call me Blendo or Ben. I entered a lot of tournaments last year. Some of the ones I can think of off the top of my head is getting 193rd at Evo, 17th at First Attack. That's good. Third place at a free play tournament yes. in Atlanta at DreamHack. That's good. I'm also consistently getting first place at my local tournament. And I entered a couple more tournaments. I'll just edit them somewhere in the video here. My main in Street Fighter 6 is DJ. You know, the one that got the dry rush that goes kind of like... <laughs> to expand the FGC to more rural <laughs> areas like where I'm from and I think next up is the next level up to do that that was good I like that short and sweet full of energy I think Blendo Ben did a great job on that one monkey business hello all I'm monkey business what is monkey business doing and there is no person better suited to paying this opportunity forward than Justin Wong who paved the way for fighting game players to become reality stars 15 years ago on WCG's The Ultimate Gamer. No, don't bring that. And don't imagine Logitech or Next Up will be requesting that I drive cars in third person or in a straitjacket. But if, Justin, you think it's time someone else suffered the way you did, I will oblige you. Oh, what's happening? Oh, he is lit, huh? Isn't he? That one's good. My man, monkey business a musician and producer and music teacher and fighting game player from Caracas, Venezuela. Though I've been living in St. Louis for the past 10 years. I was about years, to say, baby. Venezuela, oh, no international. The whole mental stack, the amount of things that you have to be looking out for is really exciting for me. I think with every loss, I can identify the things that I like did wrong. And I know that I have so much more to work on to get my Aki to the best level, despite the fact that she might be on like the lower end. The I'm lower sorry that you picked Ken, Ken to Aki. I'm sorry, bro. That being said, I mean, I come from music school and Every audition that I've had, I've had to play music, so I guess let's do it, right? Oh. Oh, he. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you so much for your attention. Fire. I really appreciate you watching this video. And yeah, hopefully you will consider me for the next up reality show. Take care. Music is a way to get into somebody's heart. That's for sure. Hey, let's check out uh, Muna. But I mean Ryu and Jury on Street Fighter 6. I mean Ryu because all Ryu does is walk around fighting people. Just to get That's stronger. all he does is fight people. Walk around fight people. How? That's amazing. That's amazing. Like, bro just walks around. And uh, for Jury, I mean Jury because, you know... Don't say it. She is she is so deep. Okay. I mean, I, I thought he was about I to say I like the feet part. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to deny it. I like the feet. Oh, I thought you were going to went there. That was good, man. I actually, I actually like that one a lot from Muna. 
Give me his rank match. He didn't even make a submission tape. He's like, look, check out my matches. I think you should know a few things about me. I got hella hoodies. He got hella hoodies? There's something sticky on my flow, and I know it's there because I stepped in it twice. I think what? stole his whole stick from J. Jonah Jameson. I ran out of hoodies. Oh no, not the hoodies. Hi Justin What's Long, good, hi everybody man? on this team. My name is Elias, uh, my gamer tag is SSJB Eli. I mostly do content on YouTube. Uh, we do a thing called Breaking Streaks because we have a clan called Streak Breakers. Streak so we we'll find win streaks, okay. the highest win streak in the hub. And most of the time we do. Uh, there are times that we don't, but it is fun, it's challenging, and it's amazing. I would be good for the show because I'm like, I think I'm a funny guy. Got some energy. He do, we do got some energy, bro. Oh, yeah, I'm a mom and Ryu. Um, modern Ryu, baby. So thank you guys for if you guys saw this and actually looked at it. Thank you put, for putting your time and seeing this. Uh, hopefully, I make it on the show. If not, good luck to everybody else. Oh, that was Peace. really nice, man. SSJB Eli, my man had some energy. I like the energy. Give me the energy, baby. Blaze Death Blade. Can I say that five times fast? Blaze Death Blade. Wait, does he have that audio? Oh my god. <laughs> I was going to spend the day with my girlfriend, getting lunch at some nice restaurant, then shopping around. A lot of things had been going poorly at that time, so Valentine's Day was going Aww. to be a... Oh! Three years later, hey. I was making grand finals in the same brackets I went 0 2 in. I started streaming, posting Kim What's Tech up, videos on YouTube, and even coaching. I slowly became THE Kimberly guy. I went to Gommel. See you neat. The tea bag Kimberly guy. Was catching my eye, but my job wouldn't give me time off. I quit my job and bought plane tickets. Oh my god. When Street Fighter has taken me from the worst place in my life into having amazing friends, traveling across the world, and running events for dozens and dozens of people. If there's any way I could put myself on the map and continue playing the game that has given me so much. Why you gotta put this it. there? Shoutouts to Nick. Diaphone, the Kimberly Discord, and the guys at my locals. Especially Luke, Will, Andy, and Adam, and so many others who got me to where I am. Oh, I like the shout outs. Finally, thank you for the opportunity, Justin. I hope I can be next up. Sheesh. <laughs> that was a good video. I'm not gonna lie. That one was pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and fill in some of the slots of the rosters, shall we? And the first contestant that I selected to be part of next up is. Blendo Ben. My name is Benjamin, also known as Blendo Ben. I'm a barber. I play fighting games pretty much all the time. Yeah, I'm ready for this next up. On top of the, the trips that I already planned, I would also use the $10,000 to try to either travel more to more tournaments, help out with the local scene, and just in general, just honestly, just use it for travel. You know, I really think of him as a diamond of rough. He's a great player that doesn't know too much about the FGC, made it already so far into Masters and you know just like always grinding he has limited resources but got here so far so i want to see what he can do in next up and see maybe that diamond can be polished who knows right but ben, you are the first person to be selected for next up now for the second contestant that is going to be part of next up it will be cycles um i'm cycles i'm content creator i'm a to i'm a competitor i've been doing this for like three or four years now i accidentally play low tiers and i really hate kimberly the passion that he has for his community also coming kind of from like a a non-popular area you know he's he's also posting youtube videos of like his tech to like for people to learn kimberly and also how to fight against kimberly really interesting character great personality as well too and obviously you could tell that he's passionate that I mean, he's he's willing to quit his job to to play some street fighter and also wanting to become the best and just get that exp that experience and everything so cycles congratulations on making it to next up as a second contestant like i said there's over 200 entries we need to check out more tapes so let's go check out some more tapes hello 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 jay walk how's it going been a huge fan i did beat your honda in rank mode when street fighter 6 first came oh out he beat night. my honda oh, yeah, this is my submission here i don't know how long you wanted these to be but i am able to fly out i am a grown man <laughs> Uh, so it's online. We do it at home. You, know, you you pop us in a match. It's gonna be fun, playful. 
you know, you, you put us in a scenario where we got to train a rookie to hit diamond. I mean, I've done that. I have a series called Scrubs to Dubs where I take Scrubs to Dubs. Who are silver and gold I like the I Scrubs to Dubs. And I tell them, hey, stop doing drive rush EXDP. Aurora's pretty that. nice. I'm not going to lie. I like this guy. Okay, between us. You know, if I make it big, I'm going to try to make my own Evo moments. So that way, Evo moment 37, you know, you can finally rest and not see I can all finally... These, all these am I going to die or something? I can finally rest. Oh, my God. Aurora's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. He beat my Honda? I might just pick him just to prove that he didn't beat my Honda. I don't know. I, I, I didn't like that he called my... He, he said he beat my Honda in rank. It... We might have to see. We might have to see. You know, for we might actually have to see if, if that's true or not. Currently, I am a Street Fighter Six player. I've been in the scene for about whenever ECT Two started. That's a now, long time, with Street man. Street Fighter Six really like Kimberly and Manon, but I've lately landed on Chun Li and I've reached Master with Rashid. Also trying to learn Ooh, a little bit the more mix. of Ken. I haven't won any local tournaments in Street Fighter Six as of yet. Been trying to find the right strategies that fit my playstyle and trying to make better decisions in game. Did did have one moment of a funny exhibition back in Street Fighter 5 where I beat Punk in a Street Fighter 5 first or three <laughs> for an arcade stick at a big E Red Bull event. Oh. <laughs> he did have to pick random select, however. It was for an arcade stick again. So yeah, I hope that you uh, go ahead and pick me for next up. Howdy, I'm Zaffarino, also known as Zaffarino, because ironically that's my actual name i don't know why my mom wait oh zafriel's his real name i thought it was a gamer tag playing street fighter since 2010 so it's going on 14 years this upcoming august 14 years of 2024 uh i currently play dalsam and jamie in street fighter 6 probably one of my biggest goals in the scene which i've been actively working towards is not only like winning a championship like a capcom cup or an evo a gamers eight something of of that uh stature yep. but also cultivating what i like to call the new japan uh which is basically a community of players that are prioritizing growth in and outside of the game kind of shy a little shy about it maybe it's kind of weird to talk about uh yourself and i get it i'm, I'm i have trouble talking about myself as well too you might remember my tag from this he really left with the twenty dollars. Ooh. Why is she yes. laughing at Chun Li like that? Yeah, that's crazy. I started Super Six ranked that rookie. Start from the bottom. Now we here. Aww. I kept trying. Where are you going? Ooh, hit him with a, where are you going? Something, everything, click. This is a great video. Like it's, it's really good. The journey is amazing there, right? I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite audition video on the Citadel. I should go. What? <laughs> That was a really good one. All right. Evo 2023, my first Evo. Okay. I got 900th. Also, Street Fighter 6 is out, 7,000 people. And I actually got to play uh, a Bao, who's a, a Guile player. Yeah. I think he plays KOF, but he's from Japan. It was my first like international match. I don't know, like that match really lit a fire in me when I played like an international player. It was like, this is a, a worldwide game, yeah. you know? And like, so, I, I'm he's so excited. Not, like, Let's go, Andy. Texas. I just want to learn. And they sat down with me. They taught me the game. They taught me like how to think about the game. They taught me how to have like a little bit of confidence. Mentored me in a way that uh, I don't think anybody else could. You uh, see the passion that that, that this guy has, right? A lot of passion. Sorry, I'm, I'm like, I'm getting emotional on the audition tape. It's kind of Yeah, <laughs> it's all good, bro. Uh, I love it. 16 to 1700 MR and like I enter tournaments and I don't go to anymore, right? Sometimes I go 2-2. Look Sometimes at that. I go 3-2. Sometimes I make it out of pools. And, oh, and man. I'm always getting I love I love this one. This one's I'm awesome. Before. That one is really good. I would love to be a part of it. Um, truth be told, I really don't like Street Fighter 6. I'm just going to be very upfront and honest with you. But I think it's because of that um, I would be an excellent candidate. I feel what? that every Why? Uh, reality TV show has like an antagonist, a villain. Oh. And uh, I would love to be that person. I would love to play that role. 
Um, <laughs> um, I love to have fun. What? He a, says, Percy, I don't even like Street Fighter Six. But this is about Street Fighter Six, And um, like I said, I would love to play more in terms of, you know. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't you know, play Six. Main. You know, I play JP. And, you know, he's a villain. I want to be a villain in the. In he the got nerfed. Series. I don't even think he plays Street Fighter, but. It's a really good audition, I'm gonna lie. Like he has obviously it was very charismatic, the energy was there. It's just funny that he's like, Yeah, I don't even like Street Fighter 6. I just wanna be on the show, just cause drama. That's that's great. How's it going, Justin Wong? And people over at Logitech. My name is Jeremy. Online I go. And by people Jer at Logitech. Jer you're talking about up and coming. You're not gonna find anyone more up and coming than someone at the precipice of up and coming. I started a whole stream series based off of Justin Wong and Nephew on the road to master. Oh, what? I did a road to platinum okay. just to see if I can get some sort of mastery over all the characters. I'm proud to say everyone's at least in platinum. Uh, not only that, but I literally just bought myself a PC. Oh, he is, in, he is invested. You know why? Because I'm trying to be serious about Street Fighter. You want to talk about an underdog? You want to talk about a breakout star? I'm literally the start. Give me the chance, you won't be disappointed. I like the energy. It had like very like wrestling vibe. I am extremely smart. I work in a field adjacent hey, he's to like, law. I've been doing right. what I do for extremely a while. Extremely smart. My man said, yo, I'm smart, bro. Really Check me out. And maybe most decisively, I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, I think a lot of people get really competitive and sometimes forget that this is a game we're supposed to be enjoying. Going That's true. You're not wrong. At both Evo 2023 and Frosty Faustings last week, I had matches where I wrapped it up and at Frosty Faustings, my last match, I lost it 1-2 and my opponent and I turned to each other and just laughed and spent maybe five minutes shooting the and talking about how much fun we just had playing Aww. the game. One thing I've been loving about these videos is that these videos are so good. Of, you could just see the passion and what and the dreams that people want to do. Bomb Chester Collins, Big also weed. known as Big Weed 420, also known as Gargantuan Ganja, also known as Titanic TAC, and I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm representing Vancouver Street Battle. I'm a tournament organizer, so I don't get to enter the brackets, but if I was allowed to enter, I would have wins on wins Ooh, on wins. The, the energy. I play Manon, and I'm not even trying to win. I'm trying to make people lose. I don't care if you play Ken, Luke, or JP. I'm going to scoop you, and I'm going to pop off while I do it. And if you need credentials, look at my 5 million view clip on Twitter. Look at my 5 million view clip on Twitter. Oh, I don't know. That's not this shit. <laughs> Yo, welcome back, y'all. It's your boy. G you got the Don Flamingo glasses? Let's go. Justin Wong. I've heard your outcall, <laughs> and I am here to answer. But next up, baby, let's go. Funny games aren't that big, I would say, for say around here. Like, I would have to go pretty far to even find anything. So it's not really local at that point. But I can assure you, I am not just the average player. And I really want to break some hearts. <laughs> Why are you laughing like that? Oh. Am I next up? I sure hope so, baby. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually sick, actually. Gino's Mingo is pretty good. Justin Wong! Whoa. What's up? I'm trying to basically be on your show, your reality show, next up. You know, I've been training, hitting the lab, making sure combos look great, my block strings are nice and tight, and my tech is dirty, so that way I don't have to feel like I spent tech is dirty. pulling all the way out just to go 0-2 in bracket. I mean, who doesn't love the sound of this? Crazy, right? Oh, he Beat threw that bad boy! The king. What is the chance of him actually, like, spending all the money on just Raichu plushies? We just went through more tapes, guys, and I feel like we need to pick another two contestants right here, right now. And the third contestant, or next up, will be... Fem Chef. Hi, I'm Fem Chef. I'm a modern Marissa main, and I'm really excited about being part of Next Up. Modern Controls has been something of an accessibility measure for me to be able to get into fighting games. Kind of a long story, but I actually have a disability called dyspraxia. Um, it's not as readily diagnosed outside of the UK, so my guess is a lot of people are going to be unfamiliar with what that is. It's in the same category of things as like ADHD, autism, dyslexia, but basically my brain sends signals from the left and right side out of sync. The way I have explained it to people coming into the FGC is that I kind of have a permanent debuff to my mental stack because your average person can rehearse emotion input over and over and eventually that's just automatic they don't have to think about it I have to think about it every time 
So playing a fighting game where everything's emotion input becomes paralytic because I'm constantly thinking about every single motion I have to do to get the combo to come out. And being able to pick when I want to do emotion input and what context do I want to integrate emotion input and not constantly be worried about dropping every single combo because they fundamentally rely on that allow me to get into these games. And I'm really, really happy to be here because it's done a lot of awesome things for making friends, for my self-confidence, and for my life in general. Like, I love the FGC. I'm so happy to be here. It's so beautiful. I feel like with Femme Shep, I, like I said, the storyline, talking about, you know, kind of like her her condition, how hard it is, and how she doesn't also stop that from her playing the game. I think it's just so beautiful. The fact that she's like literally a prime example of like never giving up. Starting from the bottom, now we reached the top of the master rank and now she's going to more events locals the fact that she was able to like finally win her first stream match was just so beautiful i really want to put her on next up and just see what she can do on this show because i just think she definitely deserves a shot fem shep congratulations we're the fourth contestant i decided to go with King Raichu. I go by King Raichu. Um, a lot of my friends know me in the FGC for a very long time. I started in South Georgia. I kind of started young here in New York. I uh, played Marvel versus Capcom, wanted a, <laughs> a rusty old laundromat that my mom used to drop us off to. And from there on, I fell in love with fighting games. I also want to do more than the FGC after everything is said and done with me just clicking buttons. I want to be able to actually do a little bit more and I love art and I love showcasing my art sometimes, even though I'm not a big guy, you know, like uh, some other artists, I want to be able to grow and actually experience a little bit more of what the FTC could offer me in that realm. So tattoo artistry would be one of my things. I want to see if he's going to spend $10,000 on um, Raichu plushies. And I personally feel like he's such a great character um he always wants to keep improving he wants to just really focus on building like himself in the fgc and i mean i feel like he has it he 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 really has like a lot of things that a lot of people don't already have uh so king raichu congratulations on being picked for next up let's keep it going we got more tapes to cover and we have to go check it out bro try i just see fall guys oh, okay there we go Oh, my man is modern? What's modern Luke, Luke 715, 52? Damn, I'm nasty. And now for Fall Guys, where it all began for me in my competitive career. I won dozens of tournaments in my Fall Guys competitive history, so I won't bore you with knowing all of them out there, but I'll just put some of the biggest ones out of one, which includes multiple Twitch rivals, Courage, JD's, multiple Twitch Fall rivals. Guys, Damn, he has been winning some tournaments. I'm getting ninth overall in my Road Warrior region, which is Midwest. I did fairly well in a bunch of different online tournaments as well. Nice. He's cooking with these. Yeah, yeah, my man is playing all these online tournaments. Throw these names out there. Tell them what's good. I think I'm more than capable of bringing the energy, bringing the skill, and whatever else I need to do in order to survive in Next Up. I just want to thank you for this opportunity, chance, and your time. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and thanks for watching. That was good, man. I like that one. That one was really solid. Papa Lobster. What I heard Papa hey, Lobster Justin and team. For? I'm Kyle, aka Papa Lobster. I'm mostly known as a content oh, he makes creator the, in the FGC. Yeah. Content going creator. back in time and talking about the stories of historic matches in the FGC. Being a content creator now, I spend way more time in the Premier Pro Lab than in the training room. But the itch is always Papa there. Papa Lobster. Compete. Every tournament I watch, I love his videos. especially being an Evo, makes me want to play even harder. And I think this opportunity is the perfect way to set a goal for myself and to prove everybody that content creators can still play the game. If you're looking for a contestant that's also a content creator, willing to do the time, put in the analysis, and also make content with this, I think I'm the right choice for it. No matter what though, I'm excited to see what you have in store and can't wait to see the final product. Thank you for your time and can't wait uh -huh. to see who you pick. I always played Sonya in Mortal Kombat X and Mortal Kombat 11. So transitioning over to Street Fighter 6, finding my main was relatively easy. Cammy. Thanks. Blonde. You like the blondes. Ooh. Ooh. That was godlike. My goals are a bit hefty, but I believe I can achieve them one day. I do want to make top eight in a CEO, an Evo, or a combo breaker. I want to win a tournament that has over a hundred entries, and I want to build my Twitch and YouTube channel because at the end of the day, I just really love fighting games. 
But most importantly than all of those, I do want to build my local community that is Mash House. In the house, baby. Mash House is a fighting game collective founded by Corey the Dragon, located in Dallas Fort Worth, Texas, the city I'm from and currently reside in. Hey, yeah, look at that! Thank you so much for your time and take care for now. I like that one a lot, actually. Oh my god. If you've come to fight, then fight! He what he, he do with the walkers? What's up? Oh no. I'm Power Walk, and I'm here to power walk my way to the top of Street Fighter 6. Fight this! Street Fighter 6 is my first ever traditional fighting game. I'm a modern Marisa player, and I started with World Tour just to get a feel for the game. After that, I hopped yeah. into ranks <laughs> and quickly relegated to bronze, and I've been clawing my way up the ranks since. The ultimate goal, of course, even beyond being the best Street Fighter VI player, is to be a beloved, respected, charismatic, handsome, and successful content creator just like you, Justin Wong. <laughs> that was funny, though. I like the Power Walk one is pretty cute. Justin Wong, this is like the fourth time that I've recorded this video. Fourth time? I'm not the best player in the world. I haven't placed that high in like anything. I think that the highest I've ever gotten was like 17th in Dragon Ball Fighters. That was really the very first okay. fighting game I took seriously. Even if I don't become like a top player, I think it would be so sick to even just become a commentator or an ambassador for the FGC in some way. This is just this is just what I want to do, right? I want to be able yeah, to talk I, re I respect and it. Hype up the crowd and feel the energy of the people and make people even hyper. I want to be the hype like Vegeta said in that one episode of Dragon Ball at Bridge, you know? That's a good one, pretty bad. I like the energy you got going on. It's fun. We have our next two contestants and these two I mean, it really wasn't easy, man. The fifth player that we decided to have on Next Up is Cusco. My name is Cusco. My uh, real name is Michael, but I've been playing fighting games for a very long time. Uh, I mainly played competitively in Mortal Kombat. I played uh, Mortal Kombat 9, X, 11, all like the NRS games. Uh, when Street Fighter 6 got announced, I got super excited because I really wanted to play Street Fighter 5, but I thought it came out like at a weird time because it was like year two NRS and year two NRS is sick with MKX. So I never got to really play SF5 competitively. So I wanted to play SF6 and I love the game. So I've been playing a lot since then. What I would do with $10,000 is really interesting. I mean, I don't know if this is too much of a mature answer, but I feel like I would just like save it for a rainy day. I feel like $10,000 would like just happen suddenly like that. I do want to take good care of it and just kind of save it just in case anything like crazy happens. Uh, but I will say I will definitely enjoy good food. Because I love eating, and that's probably one of my favorite things outside fighting games. So I would definitely treat myself to some good meals here and there. I love Cusco. I love his energy. I love the, like the way he talks, the way he thinks about fighting games, the way he wants to just keep on getting better. The the, the passion he has when beating people and even helping people—it's an easy pick, right? Easy pick. He's so skillful, bro. So we have to pick him for my sixth choice. This is kind of interesting because I really do want to see the crossover. I want to see the crossover. I want to see how it's going to work out. And our sixth choice right here, and he's been putting in the work as the number six choice, six contestant, Triumph. Uh, my name is Dustin Woods, but I also go by Triumph. Used to be a Fall Guys competitor and Rumbleverse player, and now I'm trying to be one of the best in Street Fighter VI. Uh, and I came home from EVO, and I, I was dead set on wanting to switch to Modern. And of course, I think, uh, was it Haitani or Sok? I think it was Haitani. He got top eight of Evo, right? With the uh, modern Chun. And it definitely inspired me to try out modern Luke. And I'd also, before uh, before Street Fighter 6 came out, I switched to Leverless from Stick and learned that like from five to six for about like a month. And I was really struggling on P2 side to do like, you know, double quarter circles. So I ended up going to modern to get the, uh, the super advantage. So like if I'm burnt out in the corner, you know, I can react. So much competitive drive there. The fact that you were able to just like be godlike at Fall Guys. I mean, I sucked at Fall Guys. And just like you know do so well in rumbleverse and the online tournaments and now you're going trying your street fighter and you're doing so well in street fighter as well too i really want to see what's what's the next step congratulations triumph you have been selected we have two more spots left i feel like we just got to keep on going and see who are the last two spots that we can pick out my gamer tag darth lugia is actually based off the pokemon game xd gale of darkness it was the coolest tag in middle school 
And I'm confident it's only gotten. I never know what Darth Lugia was. We want to play fighting games. Oh, that's so beautiful. Major own jersey. Look at that. That is some family stuff right there. Energy that I want to Yo, oh, FGC. It's it's, it's nice and it's humble. That I'm a part of. To, wrong, to see to up, all these aw awesome the stories. Okay. okay, that's my edition tape. Justin, thank you so much for doing this. This is a phenomenal opportunity for so many people, and I just cannot wait for next up. Hopefully, I'll see you there. He's so nice. I really like this guy. I feel like his energy is so awesome. You've seen several, maybe even dozens, maybe even a couple auditions, but now you must prepare yourself for the <laughs> one, what is happening? the only, me, the Geef player. No, 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 wait, hold on. This is a different, this wrong game. You know, the public opinion of me. I, I hate so much. I seriously do. It never gets any easier. Serious? Like, seriously. <laughs> oh. oh my god, not nah, Alex. He's one of the participants, Alex. No. Oh, yeah, all this footage has been about five. So who do I play in six? Well, I mean, of course, you know, it's Geef. No, 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 wait, Justin, come back. Geef. <laughs> Thinky, the Duke. And I'm coming to you from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Thinky, no pain, the, the Duke. City. Doesn't matter. If I'm playing TCGs, if I'm playing in the FGC, or if I'm taking a stroll through Pound Town with your parents on a Thursday evening, I'm a goddamn legend. I've been a Ooh. If I have laurels, I don't got you. Pull my name. See me drown in pools. Pull my CFN. I'm only in diamond. I don't give a sh. You wanna know why? <laughs> it fuels me. It makes me. You got the heel going on. Hungry. And that makes me dangerous. Technical proficiency? That's cheap. That's everywhere. But if you want, <laughs> that's the cheap. Heart. Yo! This <laughs> is so good! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, bro, that one is sick. I grew up like millions Ooh, of people. Ooh, sure you can. Pow that fighting game. My memories of Street Fighter growing up was getting bodied by my brothers and my cousins over and over. The stock again on videos? The SNES. I loved the game, but when it came to playing, I was always on the outside looking in. This all really changed when Street Fighter V launched. All of my friends were so excited for it. Guile was always my favorite, but I couldn't understand charge inputs. So when I heard Nash was in the game and his scheme was motions, I was sold. It felt like learning a new language, but slowly, I was improving. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, there it is. <laughs> the moment I knew I wasn't ass anymore is when Dudang himself messaged me after a set saying, not gonna lie, your Nash is kinda nice. 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 I've had a lot of Oh yeah, I remember Nate. Fighter okay, we're Marissa. Mommy Marissa? So far. Yeah, one hit for, for, for Nate Banks can probably end it, but oh, the no, he did it works. It. It works, the Nick Banks is going into Grand Finals. My tag used to be Nickery, but I moved out to the West Coast and I changed my name. So I hope you'll let Nate Banks come on the show and get the W. Thanks for the opportunity, Justin. <laughs> that, was, that was good. I like Nate. I like the Nate. I like Nate Banks. Within the past 15 years of being in the FGC, oh, he's I've cooking. learned to become a photographer, yeah, a picture of me too. Oh. DJ, and more. And I've learned how to implement all of these skills in order to give back to the community in any way that I can. The $10,000 prize is nice, but the opportunity to share my passion for fighting games is even better. But if I were to win that money, I would use it to jumpstart a video series to where I would travel around multiple locals around oh, the North cool. American region and highlight those places for players to visit. Places like this were rare and they deserve to be highlighted because they help keep the arcade culture alive. Aside from that, thank you very much, Justin, for taking your time. My name is JP Paganza. That was solid. I'm not gonna lie. All right, peace. My oh, man, he, he got he got the he got the the work, the production stuff. Hey, Justin. I'm Trix, and as you could probably tell, I'm a Manon main. I'm a Manon main. Whether it's helping TO and run the production for our Burbank local and constantly trying to find ways to improve it for the SoCal community, creating content that brings a spotlight to the FGC, or just overall supporting Damn, as Damn, my man putting in some I effort. Can, I want the FGC to continue to thrive, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help with that. So Justin, 
This show would be a huge opportunity for me in more ways than one, and I really truly appreciate the opportunity to audition for it, and hopefully I'll see you on next up. That was solid, actually. Like My gamer tag Huntress. is Huntress. I would love to just see what it's like to participate in a reality show. I remember growing up on YouTube, I watched... Oh no, don't bring it up. I remember watching Ultimate Gamer, and I do remember Justin Wong couldn't try. <laughs> Because he's from New York. Oh. <laughs> Don't bring so it up. I'd love to participate in the uh, oh. 2024 version in some capacity. <laughs> Hunters was nice, actually. I like that one. Oh, you thought I was a Ken main? Nah. What, what main are you? I'm a Zangief main. I've been playing fighting games since 2013. I've been a fan of it ever since, but I've never really gone through the effort of trying to audition or even be in the fighting game community until recently. It'd be a dream of mine to go on your TV show and I'd be, it'd be an honor to get selected. Thank you so much for considering me. And if I do make it, I'll see you on the show. Oh, that's nice. I'm such a sap. I just love everybody. Why am I such a sap? My name is Narakami. I'm from Texas and I got next. I have lofty goals in the fighting game community. In fact, some might call them delusional. In order to explain my goals, I must first mention a player that I have very high respect and admiration for, and that is Tokido. To me, Tokido is the embodiment of what I feel like it means to be a pro gamer in the scene. From his yeah. image to- I, I can agree with that. That's, that's my I goal. To be a player like Tokido. Now, this has motivated me to test myself outside of my city where I went to San Antonio Monthlies where I was cracking top eight at and DreamHack Dallas and Kumite in Texas 2019 where our place 33rd this is a nice this is a great video at those events. my man put I love when people Financial put their progress on you can see how much he wants it very happy to see someone like yourself who is a legend in this community give back to the community that's gonna do it for me but I want to leave you with one last thing and that is simply I got next hmm what is happening Toby? <laughs> Toby? Oh, that one's funny. <laughs> Real ones might recognize me from playing Marvel 3, King of Fighters 15, or clapping on the Evo stage. But I actually started playing fighting games as a young kid. I grew up in the FGC, playing Third Strike and Marvel 2 at home with my older brother, and going to Family Fun and Dungeon Arcade whenever oh, I got the chance. Oh, look at that! Lately, I've been grinding Street Fighter 6 and having a blast. But why should you choose me? I'm a legend rank Kami player with multiple tournament wins. I was an innovator in Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, winning both Combo Breaker and Evo with my team of Yatterman 2 Chun Li, even when other top players said the team wouldn't work. I'm one of the strongest Marvel 3 players with many offline top 8s, including third at Evo 2022, and I've beaten legendary players in bracket. At this point, I've proven my versatility across multiple games by being able to quickly learn and win in any game that I want to pick up. I like to collaborate and give back to the community by helping mentor newer players and by posting tutorials. Bro, why that combo was so sweaty? be the perfect chance to showcase my skills and put them to the test. I think Street Fighter 6 is a really great game and I would love to rep Kami players in the SoCal FGC. And once I'm done with the rest of the competition, I'm coming for that rematch, Justin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mothman, that's amazing. Dumbo Pop, I am a proud Filipino American representing San Diego, California. Now my journey into the fighting game world began with me just playing my brother in Street Fighter 2. Into gradually playing with my friend group, Street Fighter EX3, Street Fighter Alpha 3, uh, Capcom vs. SK2, you name it. Uh, I dominated. Oh, we got the old school classics. And, uh, I took my big chance. Took my big chance just as of last year, went to EVO. I ended up placing 1,537th place. Uh, lost to a Japanese pro, Tachikawa. I didn't know he was a pro at the time, but I had a feeling um, as he was running with three other people holding big cameras, I should have known. But that technically, I'm here to play games, but I'm here to win. <laughs> and I will not let anyone. Technically, I'm here to play games. Getting that $10, Watch out for me, world. The name Dumble Pop is coming your way. That's some solid energy there, Dumble Pop. What's this? Justin Wong is hosting a competition for up and coming Street Fighter players? How do you do that? Street Fighter player. 
I guess this is my chance to show off what I've got. Honey. Acting though. Did I hear you say that you're gonna join that dangerous competition? I need dangerous. you. We're engaged to be married. You can't just run Aww. off and play fighting games. Honey Bunches votes. I understand your concern. But I've played thousands of games and trained countless hours to get where I am. This is my opportunity to show up, got what it takes to play with the best. And maybe if I win this money, I can finally make that arcade that we've been dreaming of and I can retire. Now it's time to get my audition video ready. Hi, I'm Darian Sood. I'm 23 years old and my gamer tag when I compete is solid. Saw Street Fighter 6. I knew I was going to be in love with it. I booted up the game and I started playing ranked and I immediately ended up in Iron 2. But that didn't deter me. I wanted to grow as a player. Uh -huh. I played over 1500 ranked matches and countless wow, custom game that was a to grind. My Iron 2. I've done countless drills to improve my reactions and my decision making. I'm confident I've got what it takes to play with the best and show what I'm made of. If Capcom saw somebody's audition tape, they'd be like, damn, they're it's because it's all like awesome stories of people like starting Street Fighter 6, their first fighting game, and they, they do good. It's beautiful. Hi, Justin and Tim. My name is Kenji oh. Campbell. I go by Wimplo. I'm from Seattle, he Washington, the, and I want to be. He about to mess me up. I used to go to uh, our local arcade Fantasia when I was a kid, probably about 10 or 11 or so. Okay. And I used to play a lot of DDR. This Capcom vs. SNK2 game looks pretty cool. So I started playing. And I remember one day an older guy came up to me. He's like, hey, you, you want to learn how to play? I'm like, yeah, sure. So he actually showed me how to, how to use fundamentals. Okay? Oh, Antier. that's nice. Showed me how to play footsies. And I remember one day he asked me, oh, what character looks cool? I was like, oh, Hibiki. She got that sword on her. He's like, oh, well, you gotta check I the like the lore too. going on. nasty. I'm like, all right. Buck okay. two. So I go That's online, legend. look up the video. First video I see, Ooh. Justin Wong versus Buck two. And I'm like, okay, okay. And then they put me on commentary for the one CVS2 match, which was Buck two versus Justin Wong. You, you, you can't make this stuff up. Last year, <laughs> I started competing in Street Fighter Six, and oh, that the game hit home. I'm back in, baby. I'm and back in, so baby. I, started... I love the effort. That was mad effort in there, man. That was great. Greetings, community. Wait, My why is it in Japanese? Is that Sniper. Japanese? Better known to most of you as LX Sniper. Okay, Sniper. And for those of you who don't know who I am, I come from the Fight Night Champion community, which will be considered a fighting game adjacent game if you will i'm known for taking out the garbage and taking out the trash in my community oh two seconds later oh i actually never seen people play this game and i want to first and foremost apologize to you justin wong and to all of the logitech sponsors out there that were waiting for my arrival and see, the reason why I was so late is because I was getting sick. Oh my God. I was sick. I was very sick. Oh, you I was better sick now? and tired of dominating the oh. competition in my space because I just simply got bored. You baited me. Which is the reason why I'm here. The point is that I know how to win. Same way, Justin, how you knew how to win when you were that Ken player when you faced that Yumahara guy. Remember that? What? Remember, I'm the Ken. <laughs> I've also got EVO Grand Finalists running away from me online in fear because they know that my presence is just too overwhelming. Mommy Marissa. Hey! They be... Hey! 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 You gonna feel that pain, power, pressure today, cool kid? Oh, <laughs> what? How you gonna just run off on the set from 01? Wow. That one's a funny one. Uh, my name's uh, Brennan. Uh, I've been playing fighting games, specifically the uh, street fighter genre for over a decade. Uh, I have this weird obsession in being one of the best that's ever done it. And I think being in this environment Oh, he is um, focused. Where my limits Locked are pushed, in, look at that. It's when uh, Street Fighter 6 first came out. Um, the first month it released, I went to my local tournament. And um, in the third round of winners, I had to play K-Brad. Um, I got the first set on him, and then he beat me 2-1. Uh, 
Um, I beat myself up after the match. I, w I was pretty sad about it, but he pulled me aside. He said, hey man, your, your neutral game, your ground game is super clean. And he said, I see you, keep on playing. Aww. That's nice. That was the cave so, uh, Bradley was sick. I actually liked I actually liked that. I love his his focus death stare. He has like that torpedo death stare going on. Pretty sick. For our seventh contestant for next up, it's going to be Mothman. Alright, what's up everyone? I'm Mothman. I'm from SoCal. And I've been playing a lot of Street Fighter 6, played a lot of games throughout the years, Marvel 3. Marvel 2, Third Strike, um, just really big fan of the Capcom game. So maybe the high MR does put a target on my head. But you know, in SF6 too, I do think that the one thing that can be said about MR is that it is kind of a decent measure of a player's consistency. I have played a lot of hours and a lot of uh, matchups. So I think I can just take any, any match as I would normally. He's just so versatile on every game you know i love the fact that he wants to rematch me and like i said he he has done awesome jobs beating amazing players and he's still not getting looked at man i i hope maybe the show can help him in some way because i feel like he does have the potential he does have the ability to be next up and the final contestant that we chose to be on next up number eight it is nate banks uh, my name is nate banks i am from victoria bc and i'm here at next level to cook i'm not worried about anyone i i'm gonna look if i if i have to lose a first to five to get eliminated I, i'm really confident that i can see this the whole way through and and win i cannot not enjoy watching his videos i love the fact that he pops off he gets all crazy he's not shy to hold it in he'll tell you what it is and I mean, that Marissa is so strong and like he's, I feel like there's something that he's just missing, but he's so close and just getting to the next level. And he seems kind of crazy. So I kind of like that. Actually, I kind of want to cause chaos in there. So he is going to be my eighth contestant for the show for next up. We have our challengers selected. I hope you guys enjoyed everybody's story because they were all amazing. And next time on next up, the real fight begins. All the episodes moving forward will have a challenge of the day and the first challenge of the day for the next episode is playing a first to three set against me tune in next time to see who is the first person to go home or who really has what it takes to, to stay in the game other than that thanks for tuning in make sure you guys hit the like share subscribe you know turn on the bells and we'll see you in the next episode for episode two of next up each and every one of you are going to play me in a first to three. Whoever does the worst is automatically up for elimination. I don't want Nate Banks in here, bro. I'm trying to get him out of here, bro. This could even be like a grand finals, like, you know, between me and him. And we're having a discussion. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not actually safe, safe. And so that's when it dawned on me. Person in elimination for today's episode will be...